Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. Playing around with Packet Tracer 6.0.1. We're going to be doing some switching in this video and in future videos. I'm going to make a standard three switch topology, three switches in a triangle. But first, we've got to change an option inside of Packet Tracer. Go ahead and click on options. It's the third option over. <laughs> the third uh, It's the th options is the third selection over, click on preferences, and make sure always show port labels is checked. Uh, it comes by default unchecked. I kind of cheated it before I turned on this video, I checked it. So always show port labels, check that guy, and then close this out. You're going to add the three switches by clicking down here, this guy just to the right of the router symbol, that's a switch. Click on there. Then you're going to have a choice of switches. We're going to click on the 3560. Click on that guy. Click down there somewhere, anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Click on the switch again. Click up here. Click on the switch again. And bottom right. We're going to cable these guys up. Click on the add connection icon right here. And we are going to do a crossover cable that guy right there. So let's go bottom left and you can see we've got uh, gigabit, all this guy. Let's click on gigabit 01. Go over here. Click on that guy, gigabit 01. Let's go to this top switch. Click on crossover again. Gigabit 01. He's going to go to gigabit 02 over in the bottom left. And finally another crossover, gigabit 02 goes over to gigabit 02. And we could zoom in a little bit if you want. Probably a good idea. Oh, that's a wrong zoom. Got to go over here. This is for uh, looking at packets and stuff like that. Go over here and view, zoom in, or you could do control I. Let's try that. Let's try control I. That's not too bad. You may have to fiddle around with these movement bars a little bit. Now, unlike GNS3, you can't move these labels around, but they do they do uh, hook on to the icon, so that's okay. But uh, you know, can't reorder them. Cisco learned from GNS3. These guys who are doing open source are beating you. Okay, so. Let's relabel these switches a little bit. Let's click on the bottom left corner. We're going to call this guy switch 1, SW1. Let's go to the top, click on that guy. Let's call it SW2. And bottom right, SW3. All right, so that looks good. Notice that we have one link is orange. All the other links are green. If you've been studying spanning tree, you've probably realized that, hey, that guy is in a blocking state. But we're going to talk about that later. First thing you want to do, let's also, let's add a couple computers. Why not? Let's click on end devices. We're going to add a computer over here, a computer over there, bottom right corner, and a computer near the top. We're going to cable them up to the switches. We're going to use a straight through cable. Click on this cheap ass computer. Click on the switch one, fast zero one. Straight through cable again. PC two up here, fast zero one, fast zero one. And as you guessed, bottom right, fast zero to fast zero one. Keep things pretty uniform and pretty easy. All right, so just so you don't have to spend four or five minutes doing this all over again, make sure you save this guy because we're going to be using this in a future video. We're going to save as, uh, let's see, save as PKZ, why not? Packet Tracer Activity File. How about, uh, let's save it as a different one. That's a little different. So save as Packet Tracer Network File dot PKT and save it wherever you want. Call it 3 switch triangle or whatever you want. Now if you're ultra lazy, lazy and you don't want to spend any time making this 
just go to router gods download it it will be in our resources page I haven't actually popped it up there yet but let's boo uh, wrong form let's go to router gods let me expand this out a bit so it will be under resources and I'm going to make another heading here called packet tracer topologies so next to GNS3 topologies I'm gonna make one you click on that guy and you'll be given a list of packet tracer files that you can download so you don't have to do this crap like I just did okay back to packet tracer Okay, let's make sure that we have a connection from switch 1 to switch 2. I'm going to enter the command line, just click on switch 1, click on CLI. Yes, this is virtual, this is uh, not that real, but it gets you most of the layer 2 functions that you need for CCNA. Actually, you can pass CCNA 100% with Packet Tracer if you didn't have any real equipment. So everything seems to be okay. Show CDP neighbor. And we see the other switches. Gig 01, Gig 02. Looks pretty good. Now the reason you see switch here, and these are SW1, SW2, SW3. What you see in the packet tracer main menu is just packet tracer labels. They do not actually reflect what the host name will be. So be a little careful there. Now this top bar right here is going to show you what device you're on SW1 SW1 that's good most likely what you want to do is you want to change the host name right away to match just so you don't get mixed up because I have seen people who are they've named this SW1 they've given it a host name of SW3 which gets completely wild and wacky when you're trying to troubleshoot stuff that's going wrong so just be careful with that so we've called that SW1 that sounds good click on SW2. Now alternatively, as you can see here, you can change the host name by going to host name and calling it SW2 if you want. Now the problem with this is that this is super cheating. You don't want to get used to this. You want to get used to the command line because this is not the real way of configuring a Cisco device, right? So don't don't get used to that. Do everything by command line. So what I want you to do before I sign off on this video, go ahead and change the host names of all your switches. Go back to file and save it. And I'll meet you here for the next video.